<laughs> wow. That was explosive. <laughs> that was explosive. All right. So this is going to be the base for my DIY sitting standing desk or standing desk, how, however you want to call it. Usually they're called standing desks, but you don't only stand on them. <laughs> they're supposed to work that way that you can also sit at them. Um, and this is going to solve my problem uh, that I have right now. It, that is that I made the top a while back, but it's uh, still sitting on saw horses. And the saw horses are way too tall. It's like 32 inches. It's not, it's not great. Where I got stuck is how those, um, those axes, you know, that you see on the left side and the right side, the mechanism that will raise the desktop, how those connect to the threaded rod and to the wheels. Uh, I'll get in a little bit closer so you can see what's going on. The problem that I'm having is this part. So my whole idea um, rests on cranking this threaded rod. There's a knot, a captured knot in there. And so if you uh, crank this, then the knot starts moving and then the, the whole mechanism comes up and raises the desk. Well, this connects a bunch of parts. So it connects the, the threaded rod and, and, and these wheels at the bottom to allow it to uh, operate smoothly. My first design was this uh, with just one uh, knot in the middle. And when I tried it and, and I started cranking it, it was a little bit wobbly because there's some tolerance of course and and there's a lot of force actually when you when you're starting to put all these levers in there's a lot of force so when you crank it it goes like this and this and it's really hard to do so I discarded this design then I thought okay what can I do um, Maybe if I use two knots that are spaced apart, then I can compensate for that wobble. It turns out that if you put pressure on here, the forces between um, where the knot is and where the lever ends, which is uh, about an inch and a half lower, the forces get pretty great and um, this um, is printed in uh, this is three mil for this side of the plate three mil for this side of the plate everything is about three mil uh, which is like an eighth of an inch and I, th <laughs> I thought it was strong enough because when I had this and I was like, oh, let me try to bend this. Oh, I'm putting some screws up. It's like, oh, that looks really strong. Well, if you put a lever like this on it, it's no longer that strong. But as you will see, I'm going to te uh, break test this um, just to see how it fails. As you see, if you put a little bit of pressure here, Do you see that um, bottom moving forward? And this is with very gentle pressure. This is not a lot of pressure. So let's see how much it takes. It probably won't take a lot. <laughs> wow. That was explosive. <laughs> That was explosive. So as you can see right here, it's been, the head basically came off. It's all this, this part uh, where the knots are. There is so much for it. You could already see it in the bending uh, when I put a little bit of pressure. 
just this whole part just separate it so it just shows me that yeah three mil it's not good enough for this application for a lot of other things I can use three mil or whatever but this just tore the whole thing apart and yeah as you can see here <laughs> The rest is just still stuck on here and yeah, totally annihilated. So after that experiment, I thought that maybe I should just um, double <laughs> every dimension instead of like three mil go to six mil. So from an eighth to a quarter and just beef up everything i already tested this one that's why i have a few brackets there holding it up but it's basically doing the same thing because there is so much well now it's not moving of course because of those brackets but if i take those away <clears throat> the whole thing just comes apart there's a lot of force on this part this side is fine but this one just tears out. Let's take this so you can see it. Because I already did the test, the, the part is already broken. But you can see how this whole front part just starts to move out because the, the moment, the bending moment is so great you see it here now straight oh there it goes so there is a lot of force there even with some hand pressure so I can't even imagine how if I would put uh, 50 pounds of desk on top of this it would just crumble so I lifted it out of its place so you can see it a little bit better um, this end just tore off under the force but this end looks pretty much okay and there's also yeah this started to delaminate and everything and it's not great but since the the other side held up pretty well I thought to keep uh, mostly keep this this part Be so it's like this it's the beefed up version it's all six mil six mil and this should work for for this side as witnessed by this that's why I do these tests because you can <laughs> you can never anticipate like how much force a part can take especially 3d printed part and because 3d printing is so easy and actually also a lot of fun to do I just love to design and print and test so I'm keeping this I'm keeping this part for this side so this is basically two of the same just joined together like this but then this gives out so I figured okay I already doubled all the dimensions it's um, probably time to go overboard and if this doesn't work probably the whole desk won't work so what I did I'm keeping this part for this side but now, so here's the nut, and now I'm joining it with this part, like this. There will be another nut here, and then there will be a, a, a cap to keep this nut in place, because if you go back and forth, then it can slide out, right? If it's moving this direction, it can just slide out. So there's going to be also, again, six mil 
I mean, if this is not gonna work, the whole thing is just not gonna work, and I'm just gonna make it a sitting desk instead of a standing desk. And I'll just scrap it and just put the desk on this and just sit. So I changed out the part that I broke before and I changed it out for the beefed up version, the, the big one. Um, I'm not really looking forward to testing this because um, if this one breaks, I don't know, I'm, I'm running out of ideas of how I can make this desk work. And then it's just gonna be a sitting desk, which I hope not. So if I press this a little bit, I see these wheels move. Just a little bit, but they move. So that doesn't give me a lot of confidence that it can hold a 50 pound desk. Maybe it will be fine, or maybe not. So I should really test this with the desk on top and some weight, some extra weight to uh, simulate like the screen and the laptop and and all the stuff that will be on there let's push it a little bit harder maybe we can get some answers I'm pushing pretty hard right now So maybe it's okay. Okay, so let's add the desktop. This is a lot lighter than I remember it to be. Let's add some weight and see if it will hold because there will be a laptop, screen, keyboard, mouse, other random projects on top of this. So let's see how it holds. So far so good. A few bags of tools didn't budge. Let's add a little bit more. So I'm gonna put the KitchenAid on here. <laughs> and uh, I already promised that if it crashes down and I destroy it, we're gonna get a new one. <laughs> but I think it will hold. seems to be holding up so maybe it's better than I expected so all in all I think this test was a success I put some of my precious <laughs> parts on there and some of my wife's precious parts on there it hasn't failed yet <laughs> so it looks like it would be able to hold just like a laptop and a screen and some stuff let's move forward and complete this. I'll have to stain the base and finish the mechanism, attach it to the bottom to the bottom and to the top uh, in the back part of the mechanism. And I'll just keep going forward with this project because it looks like it's going to work. Thanks for watching. If you like this kind of stuff, do this and I'll see you in the next one.